What's going on guys? Leon Bratz here and in this video I'm going to teach you exactly how you can set up and loop Feel Good Ink by Gorillaz on a loop station. We are going to be using the Boss RC300 for this tutorial because it's got three tracks and that's the loop pedal that I use. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's hopefully it's not going to take too long to uh, get through this tutorial. So we shall see. Just before we get into the video, I want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor and that is NZXT. I would like to introduce you to the brand new capsule microphone from NZXT. The capsule microphone gives you a crystal clear audio signal for your voice, whilst at the same time suppressing any unwanted background noise, making it the perfect addition for any gaming setup. The capsule microphone has an immense frequency response rate ranging from 20Hz all the way up to 20kHz. This cardioid USB microphone is available in either black or white, and it looks sleek and super clean on any desk. Make sure you go and click the link in the description and go and check out NZXT and go and grab your capsule microphone right this second. All right, back to the video. Let's go. Okay, right. So if you just have a look in the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see the loop pedal here and this is my foot. This is my foot underneath here. And we have got three tracks on the Boss RC300. We've got track one just here, track two just here and track three just here. Now today we are going to be looping up Feel Good Ink by Gorillaz. Quite a few people have asked about this on my Twitch streams. This is exactly how I go about setting up the loop. We're going to put in the drums first, or beatboxing, and then we are going to put in some bass and add some guitar and then add some backing vocals for the chorus. And that is pretty much the whole loop. What's going on guys? Just quickly, this next bit was hella confusing in the video, so I just thought I'd say it again, like properly. Um, basically, so in this tutorial, there's not gonna be a tutorial on how to do like drum sounds. I'm gonna beatbox in this um, in this tutorial, but you can use like pre-made drum sounds already. You can do percussion on guitar. The rhythm for the kick drum and the snare is gonna be That's it for that, yeah? Uh, and then there's gonna be hi-hat on the top of it, so that's gonna be like, you can do that as two layers if that makes it easier for you. I just go kind of straight in with the beatbox on this and I do two layers at once. But if it's easier for you, layer it up, take it step by step. Also, I'd like to quickly say that if you ever mess up the loop when you're looping something up, if you mess up the first loop, just restart it again. Especially if you're using a loop station like the Boss RC300, just restart it again. It just makes your life so much easier. Right, here we go. Onto the beatboxing, let's go. There we go, so we started and stopped the loop there. So we've got start. So that's on track three at the moment. Then we're gonna need our trusty bass. I always put the bass for Feel Good Ink on the, uh, on the first track, so we can put that over here. There we go, just like that. So we've got the drums and now the bass as well. Next up, we are gonna put in like a little bit of um, a guitar. So the chords that we're gonna be using for the whole song, actually, there's only three chords that we need to use. And we're gonna do a D sharp minor seven, which is that chord just there. And then we're gonna go to a B flat minor, just there, and then A flat minor and then back to the B flat minor after that. Just that, but I actually use my, my thumb instead just to make it a little bit easier. So that. Just like that. And that is gonna go on the same track, track three, same track as the drums. So these chords are gonna be very, very quiet. They're not gonna be, there's not gonna be too much going on there and you'll see why in just a second. So let's get the bass back on there and we're gonna record onto track three. There we go. Just 
that. That's it. And throughout the song, we are going to be playing exactly those same chords, but with a different rhythm, just like this. As just acoustic. Just like that. But we're not going to loop that bit. That's going to be what we play over the top of it. So let's get in some backing vocals now. So we're going to need... So we're going to loop up that, and then also we're going to loop up... So we're going to put those in. Okay, let's get the loop started again. Okay, now the vocals are going to go on track two only. is the whole loop. Track one is just bass, purely bass. Track two is the shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Feel good. Shake it. That's all it is on that track. And then track three is the beatboxing, which is the drums, and then just the single, single acoustic guitar there. And that's it. That is the whole loop. So bass. There we go. Right. So once you've got all of those in, you can go for the whole song. And I actually have, I use Ableton as my DAW. And if I press this key just here, that is very good for... Sid is breaking down on the camel's back. But if you haven't got that, don't worry about it. So let's put everything together now and put in the acoustic guitar as well. Add some vocals in there. And this is the whole loop. So here we go. Ha 
there we go. So that is How I Loop Up Feel Good Ink by Gorillaz. That was quite a fast tempo, actually, today. That was, that was quite quick. As soon as I started singing that, I was like, this is a little bit too fast. Um, but yeah, do whatever's comfortable for you. So there we go. That is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy that, then please do smash that like button as hard as you can. And subscribe down below for more videos like this every single week. And also, if there's any questions or if you've got any comments that you'd like to make or anything you need to ask me, please do leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible possible and that is it so yeah thanks very much <laughs> right i'll see you next week for the next video peace out bye